Hello out there in cryptocurrency land. Welcome back to Real Crypto. Thank you for joining me again today. Odds are you're following this video after watching my psychology video. Thank you much. Thank you so much for watching that. Um, I hope you made a comment. I'd like to know what you guys think if you think I'm full of crap or if you think that um, that's a completely legitimate way to view the market right now, that we're all floating on hope. Now, the fact that we're floating on hope is not a good thing. So first things first, on the most immediate right side of this chart, I've got this trend line, which coincides with this trend line, which coincided with the beginning of the downfall of Bitcoin. Okay, I'm not necessarily calling for that right now, to be quite frank with you, I'm not. But it's definitely in the cards, okay? It's definitely in the cards. Now, all I have to do is, say, I want to say this starting out. Trading is very addicting. It's very addicting. It's It seems like a really easy way to get rich, and it definitely can be. But it can become very addicting. If you do enjoy trading, not from a... Uh, addictive pers an addicting perspective please take up stock trading as well okay it looks like the bitcoin market may go into kind of a really crappy market and if it does if it does please consider trading in the stock market okay please consider trading in the stock market it is a very very good market um, it has slightly different rules there will be a learning curve but you should not limit yourself to just one asset class okay I'm just going to start off by saying that you shouldn't limit yourself just to one asset class. Having one worldview of only crypto and nothing else is very limiting, it is very limiting, and it will limit your success in the next year or two if Bitcoin goes into a bear market. Now, the charts right now in the charts right now in Bitcoin are really rhyming with this 2013 market. We had a, a very egregious sell-off in Bitcoin. Okay, right here, very egregious sell-off in Bitcoin and a very egregious sell-off, okay, a very egregious sell-off here. We also had both a 100% retracement off of the lows, okay, that's 100%, and then this right here is 100%. They also both have a cup with handle pattern. They both have a cup with handle pattern. Now... Right now, looks like we're trying to form a handle. And here it tried to form a handle. And we are right now at a market precipice, potentially, of breaking down out of that handle. Actually, if you look at these trend lines here, both these trend lines broke and never came back. I'm not saying that's going to happen right now, ladies and gentlemen, but all I'm saying is do not have all your money in Bitcoin to the long side. Do not have all your money in Bitcoin to the long side but be prepared for it to break that 11,775. Be prepared, okay? Please just be prepared. Please don't be all in here. Now, as you saw in my previous video, this market right now is run off of hope. So far, hope hasn't worked well for 2013. Now, I'm going to run you through some of these percentages real quick. Bitcoin most recently dropped 70%, and people view that as way too far. In 2013, Bitcoin dropped 70%. Man, that was way too far, wasn't it? And then it rose to the upside 100%. And then we formed a cup with handle, which is a bullish continuation pattern. Right? So far, this market is rhyming exactly. I mean, mar there's a saying in trading, markets don't mirror, they rhyme. This is really close to mirroring. Now, this is the ultimate low. In, in Bitcoin, if you take it from the prior low, it retraced a further 50%. Actually, 55%. If you do 55% from 6,000, where does that get you? $2,629 is the approximate level. 2,629 is another 50% drop from 6,000. Okay, so there is definitely a potential for much further downside action in Bitcoin. Definitely a potential for that. All right. Now, the, the key catalyst here, the key catalyst here is that it failed this cup with handle pattern. All right. It had a little, this actually had a, quite a long handle. And we could definitely do something similar in Bitcoin. We, we could do quite a long handle. There's definitely a possibility there. Um, but this really broke to the downside. This really broke to the downside here and then just continued lower. 
Now, it also broke off of this particular trend line break right here. It broke off of this trend line break. Right now we're breaking this trend line, but if you notice, it's it's a different, it's a little bit of a different scenario. It is. This trend line has two touches. This trend line actually has one, two, three, if 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 you want to call this a possible fourth retest. Okay? It has a fourth retest. So Markets are different. Markets are definitely different. Um, but nonetheless, we still have a 100% run up and a cup with handle. 100% run up and a cup with handle. So, yeah, take that for what it's worth, ladies and gentlemen. But I really just wanted to point this out to you. These markets are rhyming extraordinarily well. And via the fact that markets, especially the Bitcoin market, is really driven off of psychology and really raw human psychology, what do you think the odds are that hopeful markets can push us into highs? What do you think the odds are of that? I, it's not very good in my opinion. In my opinion, it's not very good. And that being said, I'm definitely prepared for a break of 11,775 and a bull market to, to retake, okay? But we are on the precipice of a bear market, of an extending bear market in Bitcoin. Okay, an extended bear market in Bitcoin. We already saw a nice bear market. We saw a nice bounce. Now there's a big possibility that the bear market continues. So take that for what it's worth. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking seeing there in the charts, ladies and gentlemen. Do your own due diligence and your own analysis as well. Don't trade strictly off of my analysis. I want you to have a plan for a bullish Bitcoin. Okay, I really do. I want you to have a plan for bullish Bitcoin, but I want you to have a plan for bearish Bitcoin too. So be prepared, be professional. Um, if Bitcoin does go into a, a big bear market, consider the stock market as a viable alternative. And you can view my, my new channel, Real-Stocks. There's a link to it in my description below if you want to check that out. Anyway, guys, there you go. There's my kind of rundown of Bitcoin 2013 versus 2017. And um, they're rhyming more and more and more. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.